A wildfire in North Idaho forced all the residents of the town of Athol to evacuate just hours ago. The report came in just after three this afternoon, and within minutes it was clear homes and businesses were being threatened. Now most evacuations have been dropped and residents are returning home. This square highlighted on the screen right now is still under level one evacuation orders. That means be ready, but only out of an abundance of caution, according to fire officials. We have team coverage tonight to bring you all the latest details. Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Magoo is standing by with the latest fire forecast. But first, we'll go to Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk in Athol tonight. Just before 7 tonight, roads reopened and people were allowed to go back home as those evacuations were lowered to a level one or get ready. The Kootenai County Fire and Rescue Chief says aircraft played a huge role in containing this fire, which threatened hundreds of homes. Just before 3 this afternoon, the entire town of Athol was told to evacuate. We have an active evacuation group who are evacuating people and homes as we speak. Sheriff's deputies shut down roads and several highways as winds push the Sarah Loop fire north. And obviously we've got people that, are, like I said earlier, are in the evacuation zone who are trying to get home, get pets, get children, get people, and, and get back out. Firefighting planes and helicopters swarm the area, protecting homes and property. That's probably honestly what was able to save this so quickly is that we were able to pull all the air resources that were already in the air and flying over at Ridge Creek. In the triple digit heat, many people found shelter at Real Life Ministries Church. Whenever there's a need, people rise up. That's just that North Idaho is great. Jim Blazin is the pastor here. His congregation had a full taco bar ready to feed hundreds of people. A lot of people that we know that have been displaced, animals, dogs, cats, and so we're just open the doors and we're prepared to serve people. The Sarah Loop fire burned approximately 60 acres. While no injuries have been reported, at least one structure was lost. One outbuilding or shop, don't know exactly how to describe it, uh, lost, but there weren't any houses. And, and I want to credit the firefighters for doing a great job on that. I mean, we had 520 some houses in the in the direct path of this fire. So to think, or 525 structures. So to think that, uh, you know, the possibilities we only lost one small shop, that's pretty incredible. And tonight officials are not sure what caused this fire. That will be the focus of an investigation in the days to come. Reporting in Athol tonight, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.